So we are here with the Intel guys. What's yep, your Lyle. name? And what? what do you do? So I'm with the Thunderbolt team. I'm the technical marketing manager with the uh, Thunderbolt team at Intel. Okay, and your name? Lyle. Lyle, okay. So now that we have the fifth generation of Thunderbolt, can you tell us a little bit about the improvement, uh, the advantages, and why we should use it? Absolutely. Well, one of the things you're seeing for the very first time is the first ever prototype laptop with Thunderbolt 5 built in. Okay. So this is a Raptor Lake HX Refresh Creator Laptop prototype, and we're also connected to the first Thunderbolt 5 enabled dock. Okay, this is new? This is prototype. Both prototypes hot off out of the engineering labs right here for you to see. Okay. So not only do we have now we're showcasing that this is now an 80 gigabit per second connection. 80 gigabit? 80 gigabit. I'm, so we're, I'm, we're, I'm, doubling I'm, from, we're doubling from Thunderbolt 4 yeah. to 80. Now, you can even go beyond 80, you can actually get to 120 gigabits per second. How can, you, can we do that? Uh, let me show you real quick. So what I'll do is how we get to, to 120 is I'm going to go to a slide here. Okay. So with Thunderbolt 5, you get 80. Yeah. 80 bi-directional in each direction. Wow. When you have high display needs, let's say you yeah. have two 6K displays like in this or case. 8K displays, okay. right? We actually turn one of the receive lanes into a transmit. So now we're 120 out, 40 in. So that's how we get, we use, we call this bandwidth oh, boost. Oh, so you exchange the inputs, you take one and, uh, and we turn it into an transmit. output. Exactly. Okay. And that's the Thunderbolt bandwidth boost mode that allows us to do that. And how much energy is going to pretty much need in order to do that? Well, it's, it's just all part of the solution, so. So but, I don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about everything. The nice thing about Thunderbolt is everything's certified, right? There's a big certification program. And again, we're showing prototypes. So let me show you what it can actually do. Sure, so go ahead. What we have is we have a modern studio setup, and starting with our Creator laptop connected to our Thunderbolt 5 dock. Okay. And I have 11 devices connected all on the other side of this cable. Only to one Thunderbolt. Device, one okay. Thunderbolt cable, and I'm able to connect 11 different devices. Okay. So I've got my, my mouse, my keyboard, my headset, my speaker, my subwoofer, my microphone. A 6K monitor, okay. a 4K monitor, a 4K webcam, okay. and I could even plug in if I wanted to and charge my phone or other devices. Okay. Right? Now, what does that mean, though, as a creator? This whole system, I'm actually going to do a tutorial on editing 8K video. Okay. So I got Adobe Premiere, and I'm editing 8K video. My 8K video is stored inside my Thunderbolt dock. I have two really? terabytes. So, so, so it's okay. external, so that's where my 8K video is. Not only that, I'm running OBS and I'm capturing my Premiere window, Okay. streaming it out to YouTube, okay? So the other thing I wanna do is not only do I wanna stream to YouTube, which I am doing live right now, I'm gonna start recording because I wanna capture this back to my external storage okay. with my Thunderbolt 5 so I can have it later and then go ahead and edit it. So let's do some 8K editing. So I got my 8K content, which is my dog, and he's running around and playing at, at the beach. Well, the other thing I wanna do is I'm gonna select my frames and I'm gonna do auto reframe. So this is gonna allow me to change this into more of like a TikTok or Instagram format. Okay. So again, I'm gonna hit create. It's gonna analyze the frames and put it in a 9 so by 16. So it, it's like a smart crop, pretty it, much. Exactly, smart framing in that case, okay. right? And the nice thing about it, I'm still streaming to YouTube. Yeah. I'm still capturing everything that I'm telling you about onto yeah. YouTube. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and stop my recording. I've got my auto reframe done. So I'll go ahead and hit the play button. Now you can see it's all in that yeah. 9 by 16 yeah. format. Still 8K, by the way, right? As far as the, you know, the source file. And now I go back down here 
I can bring up my local recording that again that I made oh, while man. I was still okay. sending out to YouTube. That's on 8K also? This, this was actually uh so this was no, actually, no no the one that you just record no, is this was 4K uh, 1080p. Or? This is okay, just 1080p. 1080p. Yeah, that's what I had set to over here. So okay. Streaming out and I ended up saving it uh as over there. Wow. But you can see us right here, everything's smooth. So great for multitasking, all the bandwidth and everything was external. Wow. My media, my editing, and my storage and everything. Amazing. And so, when are we going to see this on the market? Because we have seen it in one smartphone, but... Well, Thunderbolt 5 is again, just been announced. So you'll end up seeing products in 2024. Okay. Got it. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.